Strong winds and warm temperatures are to blame for the spread of a massive wildfire in Canada, burning more than 200,000 acres near Alberta and forcing more than 80,000 people to evacuate from their homes. The disaster is a reminder of the dangers we face right here in our region. Paul Nelson joins us live in the newsroom after talking to local fire officials about how we should prepare in case a natural disaster forces evacuations here. So, Paul, what should people do? Well, it's all about having a plan, Landon. Know what you need and where you're going. And it's not just fire danger we should prepare for. It's also things like floods and earthquakes. But with fire season upon us, now's a good time to make those plans. This massive inferno has already destroyed more than 1,600 homes and entire neighborhoods in McMurray, Alberta. It's pandemonium for all the people that are there. So one of the things that we want to make sure that residents do is they're prepared before a tragedy or disaster like this happens. One of the first plans should be to put together a kit that's ready to go in a moment's notice. Some of the things to have in there are important phone numbers, important documents, copies of important documents, extra credit cards, copies of driver's license, extra glasses or prescriptions for your glasses. It should also include important medications for you and any pets. Knowing what you need is important, but knowing your neighborhood is also critical. Well, a lot of people try to wait too long, and what, when we advise that it's time to go, uh, they should know the way that they're going to escape, where they're going to go. And so you, you have a car on the way out? Yeah. Okay. Local fire agencies are no strangers to this type of incident, facing the evacuations of neighborhoods during the Collin and Washoe Drive fires a few years ago. Knowing an escape route can help residents and fire crews. We're trying to get in to protect people's houses while everybody's trying to escape at the same time, and it becomes a traffic gridlock. So if they leave earlier, that gives us the opportunity not to have the gridlock and to protect their homes. Firefighters often work with rural residents for evacuations, which can take longer for those with livestock and large pets. Ray encourages residents to sign up for Washoe Code Red that allows residents to receive an alert during an emergency. An alert will go out specific to the area that needs to be evacuated. In that alert, we'll put which roads they should use, the best evacuation routes, any shelters that need to be done, any important phone numbers. Fire evacuations aren't always caused by the fire's path, but also because of air quality and visibility problems caused by the smoke. For more tips for preparing for an emergency evacuation and to sign up for Code Red, head to our website, ktvn.com. We have a couple links set up for you. Covering Firewatch Live in the newsroom, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.